point for us <laughs> one problem solved we have tons of problems to solve <laughs> I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And together we are on the mission of bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. So the first task we have is to measure the length of the boat because we're going to install a neck. Our deck is like this, it's like round deck. Anything we leave on the deck falls in the water, so it's going to be much better to have a neck. And we're going to measure to buy the materials today. So. So that means 11.30 times 2, 22.6, 23 meters. 23 meters by 70. 23 by 70. That's good, now let's go to the store. Let's get moving. So this is downtown our city, that's exactly the center of town. It's just like commercial center, there is no one lives inside of town, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, not really, just selling stuff. This thing has 250 years. Yeah, I remember, since I was born, it was here. <laughs> a long before, actually. A long, long time. That, that's our childhood. There is a, a myth that if you want to get married, you need to do like, I think, seven turns around the feet. We don't need to do that. We are good. We are, we are good. We are good. <laughs> the goal today was not to give you a tour of the city, but as we are walking through important places, yeah. this museum behind, that's a pink building, uh, maybe 10 years ago, I did a photography book showing the, a typical kind of fishing in our hometown. So it's just like a picture book, you know, like a coffee table book. And we did an exposition around this museum on the fences of the museum. I think we spread like maybe 40 or 70, maybe 70 pictures around the museum. That was so cool. Yeah. And the pictures stayed there for December, January and February, the three most busy months of the year, the summer months. That was so pretty cool. Yeah. This used to be the house for the governors in the city. Long, 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 long time ago. Time ago. Yeah. Now it's a museum. Look at this. This oh, graffiti is new. amazing. Mm -hmm. This is the, the guy that named the museum. The museum's name it after him. after him. Yeah, but now we need to get moving, otherwise we're going to be late. We have a lot of, of bureaucracy today. Yeah. We are going to go to the, I don't know how you call it in English, but the place you sign and they guarantee your signature is your signature because we are going to do two really important things. One, we need to register our VHF and for that we need someone to help us so we're gonna give a, a paper saying that he can do it for us. And the second thing is... We are gonna sell our car. Yeah, that's <laughs> the last thing attaching us to land. We need to sell the car. We are not using the car, so it's time to go. Lucas Cousin is gonna keep the car until it's, he sells it. Yeah, so we're gonna sign a paper saying that he can sell the car for us and we're gonna give him the car today. So that means we, starting today, we are car free and we just have a boat and a dinghy. Yeah, our car is the dinghy, but let's get moving. Yeah. It's time for me to choose What do I really want in my life? This is the main Catholic church in the city. I don't know how many years she has. She has. It's not she. she has. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if you know, but my uncle used to be one of the priests here. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember? My, my mom used to last the classes. To give some classes about religion here. You didn't know that. Yeah. We're not really Catholic. I mean, like the country is, the family may might be a little bit, but not, not really anymore. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so the place we're gonna, gonna go is right behind here. We are getting there. And this 
is the area I grew up. I used to live you know, on the street right behind this building. And here is the theater where I used to go as a kid to see like kids' theater. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. I, I never been when I was a kid here because I live in the other side of town. Nowadays, it's really common for them to do expositions outside of the museum, but we're actually the first ones mm -hmm. to have this idea. We create the idea of having pioneers. This, yeah, <laughs> the, the banners outside that was our idea 10 years ago, and nowadays they always have that. <laughs> so, this is the special juice that's been a while we don't drink. This is uh, sugar cane juice that's really really local here where everyone drinks and it's really really sweet but it's really good <laughs> this is so good so here's downtown fish market all the way, a lot of little stores that sell fish and seafood. I'm glad you can't smell because the smell of raw fish is not that good. And the other side? The other side is just like souvenir. Yeah, and here, all the restaurants. Yeah. And here is the camelodrome, <laughs> it's What's where it? you can find cheap things like phone chargers and glasses. Cheap China glasses. in Brazil, basically. Yeah. So, where are we? We are in Parque da Luz. So, what's the story of this park? This used to be a cemetery. <laughs> Yeah, that, that many, 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 many years ago, but yeah. <laughs> when we grow up, what was this park? It was an abandoned area. Nothing, it was just like, a, I don't know, a small tree, another small tree. And how did it become this park? Because step mom start planting some things and they start planting trees and now it's like this, 20 years later. She saw the place and she said, this is going to be the future central park of Florianopolis. And it's becoming, it's like... Uh, her goal was to have big trees, and here we are, with this. There was no big tree at all, and now we have a lot of huge trees. And if you see from the top, you can tell there are so, so, so many trees. These two bigger trees are two trees that I financed as a birthday gift 20 years ago to the park. And now they're huge, yeah, that's pretty cool. So the community around the park nowadays help to maintain the park, because yeah. this, even though it's from the city, they don't do anything almost. Yeah, just my dad's part of the association. The, the association of the park, the friends of the park. And they, they keep the park as it is. I used to live, I don't know if you can see, but right there in the, between the trees has an apartment building. So that is second floor of the building. Then there is the third floor and then there is our floor. And that's exactly where my bedroom used to be. And nowadays, I believe if you go there, you only see yeah. trees from my bedroom. You, we used to see a huge, just open view of the bridge. We have the old bridge right in front. And I saw this growing up, like the, how from nothing this became a huge park. And that's so, so cool. Yeah. And it's beautiful. We have like even a gym here. I didn't see this before. From time to time, some company invests on the, the park. So they have new benches, new... This walkway, I never this saw this before. This walkway is that's, brand that's new. That's new. Yeah, now we're gonna go through the bridge instead of on the bottom of the bridge, on the top. You know, the bridge that we always cross to go to town. Yeah, now we're gonna see from the top. We told you that before, but this bridge was being fixing for over 30 years because it was falling. It was almost falling, so they rebuilt the entire bridge and now it's all good. Go? 
easy as you can go. That's so cool. For many, many years we dream with the day we could walk on this bridge because, I don't know, it's weird to have a bridge that no one goes in. It's just like closed for 30 years. Now we can even... It's just the postcard of the city. Yeah, this is the main postcard of the city. The city is known for this bridge. Then at one point I thought it was gonna die. It was just gonna die. It fall. It's not. Not just you. <laughs> yeah. Where is Odd right now? Odd's exactly there, right there. It's a historical moment. Funny fact, this bridge actually actually was not meant to stay for so long working. They, I think they built three of these, two in the United States, one in Brazil. Back then they shipped all the parts, they just assembled the bridge here, but it was made on the US. And that's pretty cool, and the company that fixed the bridge is actually from Portugal, not from Brazil. Because the Brazilian companies, they try for years and, I don't know, I guess the government just stole money, stole money, stole money and never fixed the bridge for real. It was just a way of making money for themselves. And now, for, I didn't believe it was, it was going to happen, but it did. I'm proud, really proud. I thought it was, wasn't going to happen and here we are. The bridge is working, that's so cool. I want to show you something really cool. It was a cotton seed inside the cotton and I planted it and I put it in a vase and I put it here and now it's... What? I remember when it was so little, I thought you were going to show, I don't know, something like uh, this tree. No, it's this one. Check how big it is. It's like six meters tall. That's pretty cool. That's amazing. I Seriously, and honestly, I had no idea it was this big already. It's been a while I don't come to the park. Alright. Proud of you. So we both have trees here. Yeah. Mine is on the other side because the thing is, Roberta's mom lived right there. I used to live right there. So my tree is next to next to where I used to live in Roberta's. Well, it's a funny story. I lived here for 15 years, and on that time, Roberta didn't live here. No. When my family moved to the other side of the town, close to where Roberta used to live, her family moved from that side to this side. So we just like. We're not lucky. Uh, it seems like we're just running from each other. No, no, not really. we are But then we met. Yeah, that. Family together. Family, <laughs> family meeting. Yeah. Something to tell about the tree? Just beautiful. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this mm. this tree got on fire around 30 years oh, ago. This I is guess. the tree. Yeah. So uh, replant they replanted. Yeah. Tree. This tree used to be right in front of the restaurant there that I used to eat when I was a kid. And then the restaurant got on fire and they sa they managed to save only the tree. The restaurant burned out the whole thing. But I didn't know it was this yeah, one. Yeah, it's this one. That's so cool. <laughs> so this tree was the main symbol of the restaurant and the restaurant is still is ex exists. That was like 20, I don't know, 25, 30 years, 25 years ago, I think. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Living and learning. I didn't know that. Last step. We don't have a car anymore. That's my cousin. He's going to sell the car for us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now we are free of land. Now we are officially only living on the ocean. That's pretty good. <laughs> Valeu. 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 So, tell me one thing. Do you feel free now without a car? Yeah, I do. That was the last thing holding us to land. That's pretty good. Proud. Now we are officially... What? I was with a cold until... She's fine already. Right? She was a little bit sick. But she's fine now. But I don't want this anymore. <laughs> So what's going on? What's, what are you cooking here? We are gonna have friends for dinner. Yeah, the neighbors, because we, we say we are living for the past three days in a condominium. We have like four <laughs> boats living aboard around us. I mean, we are living around them because they were here m way before. And the last three days we've been eating on their boat. So today, Robert is gonna cook for everyone and we're gonna have a really good meal today to celebrate that we don't have a car anymore. I hope I can cook this. Yeah, this I uh, have never done a uh, tuna? tuna before. I hope I can do it. Maybe they have some recipes. We went to the market today. That means Cobera's mom's house. <laughs> so we go to her mom's house, open the fridge and be like, mm, we're going to take this tuna. This is good. This, this is good. good. I'm going to take this tuna <laughs> and I'm going to take this salmon. So salmon, tuna, and we're going to have a really good meal. I need to go up the mess because it's a beautiful day to go up the mess. Check this out. No wind at all no waves it's really really calm and the reason why i want to go up the mess is because i want to try something different let's show you how this works so as i explained before our halyard 
it's a two by one system that means that the beginning of the line is on the top of the mess then comes down to this piece up the mess again and then down the mess somehow this is not sliding easy enough as we have a batting car it's supposed to when i lose up the halyard the, the main sail need to go down and right now every time we lose the main sail i need to come and take it down really hard and i want to try something different i'm going to take out the reduction i'm just going to take the nut off the top and i'm going to tie it straight to here so it's going to go straight from here top of the mess down and see maybe it's going to be easier for us to how call Heist. raise heist huh How's the main? Barry is studying English. Yeah. Uh, actually, I learn a lot with the comment people leave on the comment section below. Thanks. So basically, <laughs> I'm gonna try to take this system out and install just a simple one by one system. And I don't know, maybe it's gonna be simple and easier. We're gonna try. If it's not, we just install this back. To hoist was okay. I think it's perfect to hoist. The problem, the biggest problem, I think, is the angle of the clutch. Might be the angle of the clutch with the angle of the winch. But when I go to the feet of the mess and I help on the feet of the mess, it's so, so, so much easier. But now the final test. We need to test if it's gonna fall when I let it go on the halyard. Problem solved. We have tons of problems to solve. <laughs> happy? Yes, really happy. It was just so good. I think it's gonna just leave like this for now. It's a little bit harder to get the less tight of the sail, but it's all good. We can take it. Of course, we have some wind. Every time we invite Duca's mom to come on board, there is a lot of wind. <laughs> Every single time since our first boat. There's a sail boat there and Duca and another friend are trying to recover the boat because the anchor didn't hold the, the weight of the boat. So they are trying to get the boat and put in some mooring board. More friends are coming to try to put the boat in the mooring board. Let's check the anchor and see if we are in the same position we were. So we use this app to see if the anchor is in the same spot. Yeah. We are good. I think that somehow they managed to start the engine of the boat. All good now. I have a new neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy things I, I think I didn't know. Yeah, he drifted in between all the boats and I didn't recognize because we are new here so he had no idea I thought when I looked at the boat there I thought that's the place he's anchored but that was not that was just him dragging the anchor washing the salty clothes it's amazing that every time my mom decides to visit our boat <laughs> no matter which boat the first boat the second boat and this one every time we have so much wind <laughs> just, I, I don't know what my mom has with wind but of yeah. course she didn't come oh yeah we're just moving a lot <laughs> 